Hey guys, my name is Eric, here to talk to you guys today about being an automotive tech. Is it worth it? Is it not worth it? Well, let's find out. Everybody's experience is completely different when it comes to this, so take everything that I tell you with a grain of salt, but there are a lot of things to cover when it comes to possibly pursuing that degree field, and whether it's for you or not. The first question people always are always curious about, can I make enough money to sustain myself realistically? Yes, definitely. You can make upwards of $60,000 plus. It all depends on how far you want to take the degree. So if you're willing to work hard and learn, then, you know, the sky's the limit. With automotive, you know, the more you know and the more experience you have, then the further you're going to advance within the degree and you're going to be successful. Other question people ask me in reference towards is school. Do you need to go to fancy school? Absolutely not. I went to a community college, got my automotive associate's degree and pretty much left it at that. I talked to some of the guys that came from like the fancier schools. You guys have probably possibly heard of like Wildtech and UTI and great schools, not going to knock them down, but we more or less have the same knowledge base or same skill set. They did take away things that I didn't have that I wish I would have had. And then, you know, I had certain things that they didn't have that, you know, we were able to kind of basically do a comparison with. But overall, is school worth doing when it comes to automotive? Absolutely. It just gives you that, guys, that theory that is absolutely necessary for when you're working on anything. So when I say theory, I just basically means the knowledge base behind, you know, a complete car and how everything works. What's the name of every single part that's there? Um, of course, within automotive, the most important thing, and I want to say this goes for almost everything, is experience. Experience is definitely key. Uh, experience combined with school is possibly the best combination, I believe personally, that will allow you to be successful. And in the future, be allow you to be able to get like your ASCs and go down the road and become a master tech, which is the ultimate goal being an automotive tech for most people is to get there. Because um, that's essentially how you make the most money. You want to be a master technician, doesn't mean you're going to make, you know, more money than anybody else, but it means that you have the bigger skill set than most people do. And you're well-rounded on pretty much everything within automotive. So those are two subjects that people always end up asking me about when it comes to pursuing a degree. I just wanted to cover them very lightly. There's a lot more, obviously, to talk about. There's things to talk about when it comes to flag rate. You know, a lot of people don't understand how automotive techs get paid and that differentiates depending on where you live. There's a lot more questions in reference to tools, uh, work-life balance. You know, there's a couple different things to cover, but I want to open it more to you guys to let me know what questions you specifically have, which I can possibly help you with. Again, this is all my personal experience, but I believe everybody's experience is a little bit different. And I honestly think there's a lot of things that I learned from and took away from within the last eight years that I've been within the industry that I can possibly help a lot of people with. That way they can find out realistically if this is for them or not, because there's a lot of things to know. And I feel like if you're more well equipped with information, then you might decide, you know what, maybe this isn't for me. So that's pretty much it. I really hope you guys liked the video. And if you have any comments or suggestions, please make sure to let me know so I can go ahead and incorporate that into the next video. And I can go ahead and add in any specific content that you guys specifically are wanting to know more about in relation to some of the things I talked about. So you guys have an awesome day. Please comment and subscribe. See you soon.